Hey guys, it's Aaron. I had a question come up on a YouTube comment. Somebody asked about creating a template with stack viewports. Like, could it be done? How would you go about it? That sort of thing. So I figured that sounds like a skill builder to me. So today we're going to take a look at creating a layout template with stacked viewports. Let's hop in. All right, so to test this, I'm going to need a couple of models. So here I have a building model. Um, it's a house from one of our live streams. And the only thing that really is important here is I'm going to have a scene and that scene right here has a specific name. I just put main view, capital M, capital view, main view, and then save that model. That's it. Nothing special, just that. So here it is. This, this is on this side. Looking at it, it's saved this way with the, no background, no axes, everything just white. Just want to make it as simple as possible. Then I created another model. This one is a bicycle. Sorry, that's probably a little too introductory-ish, um, but it's still a bicycle. And again, so this is a different view. I'm at looking at it from a different angle. Um, obviously, everything about this is different from a house, but in this model, I do have the same scene name. See that? So one of the things that we're going to plug into when we create our template over in layout is this scene name. So I'm going to set it up with a specific name right here. So let's take a look at how to do that. So again, two models, totally different subject matter, totally different viewports, views. Um, I'm looking at it from a different way, but they both have the same scene name. All right, so let's go hop into layout right now. And in layout, I'm just gonna say file new. I'm just gonna create a brand new model. I'm just gonna grab landscape, white page, uh, letter size, Nothing special about this. this, is just my preferred, because I could actually print this out if I needed to. I'm gonna go to File, and I'm going to say Insert. I'm going to insert my house to start with. I'm gonna create my template using the house. I'm gonna hit Open, it's gonna drop down the screen. I'll go ahead and make this nice and big, fill up my page. All right, now first thing I'm gonna do here is set up my stacked viewports. If you guys watched my previous video, on stacking viewports, you know that one of the things I like to do is create layers for the different viewport types. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit new layer and I'm going to call this layer lines. All right. Now, the existing viewport is going to be my background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set that up real quick before I reproduce this for my lines layer. I'm going to come up here and say, okay, rather than raster, uh, let's go ahead and click on hybrid. And let's set our lines really small, like as small as I can get. All right, that looks like a good color layer. That's on default. So you can see right now, as I have it selected, see the little blue dot that shows up to the side of default? That indicates that whatever is selected right now, so if I deselect it, the dot goes away. When I pick on it, that little blue line, little blue dot says, the selected entity is on this layer. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it, and I'm going to edit and copy it. Now, before I paste it, I'm going to verify that my current layer, the layer that I'm working on right now, the one with the pencil, is my lines layer. Now I can go to edit. Rather than just paste, I'm going to say paste to current layer. It's going to look exactly the same because we just overlaid the same image on top of itself. But now, while I have this selected, so you see there's a highlight right now. If I look over here, it tells me the layer that is on the, the image that is on lines is what's selected right now. So that is the current viewport. So I'm gonna go grab that one and I'm gonna go hop into like um, maybe my sketchy edges style. And I'm gonna turn on my airbrush lines. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, I like that. I don't like the, the thickness though. Let's go ahead and bump that up. Yeah, I like that, one point looks good. And again, we just wanna overlay this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my background off. and set it to vector. There we go. So now my lines are on top, so I can actually toggle these individual pieces off. There's my, my color line on the default layer and my lines on top on the lines layer. All right, so this is good. This is what I want. And now I'm gonna say that this is a thing I want to regularly reproduce. 
This kind of view is something I want to use a lot. I don't want to have to go the process of copying and creating a layer and all that every time. So what I can do is come up here and say save as template. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this as awesome lines and hit save. All right, not a whole lot happened there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to say file. I'm still in layout. New. This time, rather than starting with one of the default templates, I'm going to go to my templates, and there's my awesome lines template. I'm going to go ahead and open it. When I open it, it's going to show me what looks like the job I was just working on. So I have a single page here, and it has that same house on it. So the template itself refers to that house file. That is not a weird thing. That's, that's kind of a normal thing. Eventually, if I was to go out and delete that house file, it would show up with not having the house here and giving a little error message saying it can't find the file it's supposed to go here. Regardless whether I get that I need a file for this or I have my house here, all I have to do to update this template so that it shows a different model in the same style is to come up to File, Document Setup, and right here under References, I'll pick on that house.skp and relink it to my bicycle drawing and click Open. That's going to take just a second, and then there we go. Now I have that bicycle, very different model, but you can see, same look. So I have this color layer over here, and my line work layer over here separately. Automatically, all I had to do was relink it, and it created that stacked viewport automatically. I'm hoping this addresses that question that came up on the comment. Um, this was, I mean, when somebody asked that, I went, yeah, we could do that. We've talked about, we've talked about this stuff before. We've talked about stack viewports. We've talked about templates inside of layout. This was just a matter of kind of mashing the two together. So if you like that, go ahead and like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. We create most, if not all, of our content nowadays from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.